Hello and welcome to our Western University Symphony Orchestra Meet the Artist interview. My name is Tyrone Patterson and I am one of the conductors here at Western University. Christian was a top finalist in the 2016 Maritza Brooks Concerto Competition. The winners received the opportunity to perform with the Western University Symphony Orchestra in addition to a generous monetary award which is shared amongst the winner and the two runners-up. The award was made possible through a generous endowed donation by Maritza Brooks. How old were you when you started playing the piano? I started relatively late, uh, at age 11, and it wasn't actually my decision to start playing piano. My, uh, my parents put me in to help me focus with school. Um, and before I started playing piano, I still I did have an interest in music because um, my uh, I always used to listen to classical music and those classical audiobooks mm -hmm. uh, that they have for kids, like uh, Mr. Bach comes to call uh, of all these magic ring or mysterious ring and Mozart's magic flute. Um, and I think the reason why um, playing the piano stuck with me for so long uh, was because I had a direct connection to all the things I used to listen to as a kid and love so much. So Christian, what would you like to tell us about this piece? Uh, the piece has a sort of uh, majestic nobility that I think really attracts listeners. Um, that coupled with um, these beautiful, simple melodies that he develops in the most ingenious ways throughout all the movements, I think is what really makes this piece stand out. So what is your favorite moment in the piece? But if I had to pick one piece as a listener that always gives me chills and gets me all excited, it would have to be the, um, the ending of the second movement going into the third. Um, because the, 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 the character of the, of the second movement is this like slow, calming, lush uh, kind of melody. If I uh, can play Please. a little bit of it. So. very calming, very soothing. And then the way that, that, that uh, this movement ends is with a descent uh, in the piano on B major. Um, from here, it goes all the way down da, 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 to here. And then you get the orchestra takes over this note with a lone bassoon, and you don't know where it's going to go. But then it goes to the dominant of the next movement. And then the piano comes in with the theme of the third movement but still within the same atmosphere of the, of the second. It's sort of like the sunshine is about to like peak the horizon, but it's not there yet. It's just the anticipation. Do you have any time in your life to do anything other than play the piano? I'm a, probably one of the biggest nerds on the face of the <laughs> earth. Um, movie buff, comic books, video games, the whole works. Um, so what, if, if I'm not practicing, sleeping or eating, I am at the movie theater watching movies, at home playing video games, watching TV or reading comics. I understand you are a big fan of Batman, as wearing a Batman t-shirt seems to be a trademark of yours. <laughs> How did you become a fan of Batman? Uh, well, I've been studying Batman's work for a while. <laughs> um, like I've been in love with Batman ever since like the womb. You know, um, so I, I I don't know what I can attribute to like what sparked my love of it, but because uh, like there are pictures of me as a child in my bed. You know, at age one with my Batman mask, all my Batman toys in my <laughs> bed. You know. Um, yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know what it is specifically about him that really draws me into it. I think part of it is just this nostalgia of having been introduced to him at, at an early age. Well, it's obvious you are a wonderful musician and a very special person, and I'm very much looking forward to our concert. <laughs> 